Feeling lonely and misunderstood in conversations with your husband is the worst. Join me as I share the number one key I have learned to greatly reduce this suffering. Surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Don't be alarmed. I'm Julia Woods, coach, trainer, and founder of Beautiful Outcome, a coaching company committed to help couples really see and understand each other so you can spend your precious time enjoying life together. I'll drink to that. He'll drink to anything. Say what, say what? Stay through the end because I have a free gift for you that is really gonna help you implement what you're learning here today. I literally found myself beating my head against the wall in complete despair, feeling like I couldn't reach my husband or get him to understand me. Where I felt the most understood is trying to get him to love me in the way I wanted to be loved. How to get him to partner with me in parenting and caring for the household and reaching our financial goals. And how he wanted me to love him I was so frustrated trying to get him to understand me and invite him to help me understand him. What I discovered was the number one key was learning to understand myself. What does that mean? Let me explain it to you so you'll understand. I longed for my husband to understand me. And in order for him to understand me, I needed to understand me. That, no, that, what? I really didn't know myself. I, when he would ask me what I wanted, I didn't know. I had spent so much time worrying about what he thought, what he felt, what he was doing, that I didn't even know what I thought, what I was feeling and what I was doing. As I began to understand myself, what I began to understand is that I really feared that I was unlovable. So in every conversation, I was looking to him to convince me that I was lovable. So it set up the conversations from a misunderstanding from the very beginning because he couldn't understand how to make me feel loved because that wasn't his job. But as long as I believed I was unlovable, no matter what conversation we had, no matter what he said, I was not going to feel understood because I had this deep-seated belief I didn't know that I had. Another part of understanding when my, myself was really beginning to discover what I wanted. I didn't realize that up until that point, all of our conversations had been in essence asking him to read my mind. It's crazy to me how both he and I thought that once we had this wedding ring on our hand, somehow we became mind readers. We are not mind readers and I needed to begin to understand myself if I wanted him to begin to understand me. Truth is, I struggled to love him because I struggled to love myself. So what is beginning to understand myself actually look like? It's actually nurturing my emotions, beginning to actually acknowledge that I am feeling something. What is it that I'm actually feeling? And what is that feeling trying to tell me? Because thoughts are or emotions are thoughts trapped in the body looking for language. So I had all these emotions, but I couldn't explain them. And I expected him to tell me what, you know, to make these emotional reactions stop. But the truth is my emotions were trying to help me understand things that I, up until that point, hadn't known how to learn to understand myself. Learning to understand myself also became about deciding who I was committed to be. By, at, by looking at who, I, who am I committed to be as a wife? As I began to get clear that I'm committed to be loving, kind, and honest, generously listening, now all of a sudden I can show up in conversations understanding myself as I look at what am I doing that is being those things I'm committed to be and what am I being that's not those things? 
The more I got clear on who I was committed to be, the easier it was for him to understand me. Another layer of really understanding myself was beginning to ask myself hard questions so that I could understand what I needed and wanted and make a request. Like, what is it that I'm so frustrated about when he does that certain thing? People think I'm funny at work. <laughs> like, what is it that makes me so frustrated when he doesn't clean the countertops? Well, when I can get clear about what's going on in me, what's bringing me to react so with such frustration, I begin to understand that for me, things being clean, especially the countertop, is like a way of feeling in control. For years, we lived in rental homes and I was so frustrated with the countertops being a terrible material, like ceramic tile where the grout was breaking up. And I dreamed of one day having real flush mount, you know, flush countertops, smooth countertops. And I promised myself that when we had those, I would keep them clean. So when I understand what's really going on, I can then help my under, my husband understand what's going on and make an honest request that is really about me and my desire. And it's amazing. He's able to connect with what's happening for me and a pain point from the past and a commitment I made to myself. And he gets to decide if he wants to honor that. And when I walk in the kitchen and the countertops aren't clean, it's no longer about how much he doesn't understand me. It's really about an, an honest conversation that's beautiful and connecting. The more I understand myself, the more my husband can understand me. Yes, good, on we go. I'm excited about this free gift I mentioned. It is going to walk you into the very first step to learning to understand yourself. You can find it in the description under this video. If you enjoyed this episode, would you please give it a thumbs up? Would you subscribe so you can be notified of when the next episode is coming out? And would you take a second and in the comments, write down one thing that you are taking away from this lesson. That really helps me prepare the most powerful episodes for you. So I appreciate you doing that. Thank you for joining me for this episode. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Hey, hon, in the last 32 years of marriage, on a scale of one to 10, one being where we first started in our conversation, 10 being, you know, one being super difficult to understand, 10 being pretty easy to understand. Where would you say on that scale we are right now in me helping you understand me in conversations? I'll take it.